This is a cultivated spider. The blue skin symbolizes his fierce toxicity. If you are accidentally bitten, you will not turn into the legendary Spider-Man, but it is very likely that you will gain other superpowers. Alan, the main character, has been interested in spiders since he was a child. He loved them every time he saw them. From time to time, he fantasized that he could also have a strange encounter, so as to feel the fun of being a superhero. This day he went to a show with his friends. They met many strange species, including a werewolf with hair all over his body, an indestructible steel tooth woman, and a witch who could instantly grow a beard. Just as the next show begins, Alan is deeply attracted to the blue spider because of his own special fetish. He actually fell in love with the spider at first sight. At this point, Alan is no longer interested in watching the show. And when the show is over, he sneaks to the back of the stage, where he finally finds his favorite spider in a cage on a table. When he picked up a flute and played it, the spider even swayed to the music. This made Alan very happy. At this moment, some people came this way. Alan hurriedly gave the cage to fall, and then hid in the closet next to him. Looking at the two people outside did not leave for a long time. Alan hid in there so uncomfortable. Just when he was about to be discovered, Alan found the secret passage behind the closet by mistake, and then hurriedly ran out along the secret passage. The next day, Alan puts the spider in the locker and is surprised when his classmate catches him in the act. He picked up the cage to see what it was, but accidentally dropped the cage on the floor. The spider inside also instantly ran out, just like this running around, causing a mess. Alan also kept chasing after. The spider got into his classmate's clothes and bit him hard on the face. The boy was bitten by the spider. He thought he would become Spider-Man, but he became a vegetable lying in the hospital. Alan felt that everything was his fault. If he didn't bring the spider back secretly, this wouldn't have happened. In order to find a way to save his classmates, he found the owner of the spider. But the owner told him that if he wanted to save his partner, he had to turn into a half-vampire bloodline and be his assistant in the future. In order to save his classmate, Alan couldn't care less and directly agreed to his request. And in this way, Alan's fingertip was scratched, and the half-vampire transformation was completed between the two of them, and his classmate woke up as expected. But Alan always feels that the body is a little bit wrong. Although he is a half-vampire, but the energy in his body is also unimaginable. He can easily use his nails to scratch the blackboard. Not only that, there is a fierce desire for raw meat. Looking at his sister's neck, he even drew it. Luckily, he was strong or willed, otherwise his sister would have been brutally killed. All this makes Alan very distressed. He found the owner of the spider explained the situation, but the other party told him, if you want to ensure the safety of the family, you must leave them forever, and the best way is to have a fake death, unable to do anything else. Alan accompanied his family to complete their final goodbyes. Then after drinking the potion given by his master, his body instantly began to become numb, and it was at this moment that his master directly snapped his neck. At his funeral, the rescued classmate was so deeply ashamed of himself that he placed a cell phone in Alan's hand as a burial gift. Next the crowd was sadly in a moment of silence for Alan, but they didn't know that Alan was leisurely playing with his cell phone in the casket. And while doing so, he was complaining that he didn't have a rechargeable battery with him. Because it was a fake funeral, he was waiting for the dead of night to be dug up. And so he waited until dark when the vampire finally rescued him. And with that he brought Alan to his home base. Here he met the girl he liked and also make friends with the snake man. But the good times never last long. One day, another race came over to take Alan away. In order to stop them, the snake man was seriously injured, and Amy was taken away by the bad guys, and left a note on the table. Want to save them? Just come to the theater alone. When Alan arrived, he found out that it was all a conspiracy of his classmates, and he was bitten by a spider. He also turned into a vampire, but because Alan had never sucked human blood after his transformation, he was soon no match for his classmates. At that moment, Amy ran over to him and said that he could make Alan strong, but he had to suck his own blood. After a lot of thought, Alan slowly climbed over, and in full blood resurrected to fight with his classmates. But at the last moment, he still could not bear to kill his friend. Looking at his former friend, he finally gave him a chance, but he must promise not to jeopardize human beings in the future. Watching his best friend slowly leave, Alan also returned to the vampire camp, and from then on began to live a life of day and night. But he always believed that he must be a vampire with a conscience. 